Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Monkey Whoa. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the brand new Bear Alpha update, the week four update. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. And let's get right into the video. All right, guys, let's check out the shop first and see all the new items. We got the new item. We got the Bugus, okay? We got the Bugus. We got the Roar Bear. We got the Princess, Archer, Pawn Head. We have the Executioner, Necromancer, T-Bone. Also, T-Bone is limited only for this week, so make sure you get it as soon as possible. And also, we have Musical, which looks pretty cool as well. And uh, Fustangavo Bling. What? Mushroom. <laughs> okay, we got Mushroom. Very nice. But let's look at the social gears. Now, I'm not sure which ones are new, but I'm pretty sure it's Star, uh, star Blocks Latte, Throwing Fork, uh, wait, Throwing Spork, Bugle Ice Cream, Robar, Extreme uh, Chocolate Crunch, Silly Guitar, Cherry Cola, Dragon Plushie, Dragon Mount, Ham Bone, and Deluxe Pumpkin Pie. I'm pretty sure those are the new items for the social gears. Um, and then if we go to the kill effects, we have two new kill effects that we need to check out. We have the content deleted and massive cheese. Both really awesome kill effects that we need to check out. Also guys, before we uh, continue this video, I do want to say that I recorded this video two times already and both I had to delete because the game audio was so loud that you couldn't even hear my voice. And I just noticed what the problem was and it was so unfortunate, but hopefully next week you guys can see my actual like first reactions to everything. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, how to get the treasure hunt badges. We have three treasure hunt badges we need to collect. And also look at this. There's a brand new event in the lobby. You can see right here. This is a new event called retro blocks and collect studs to build your statue and unlock prizes. Get studs from puzzles, kills, surviving and finding them. Awesome. Uh, you can find studs around the map, uh, which help you uh, progress through the thing. Um, as you see, I have 34 right now, which is definitely not enough to collect everything. But yeah, really, really cool. Um, I would be doing, I'd be trying to complete this in a different video. So stay tuned for a future video later this week. But anyways, guys, let's hop into the brand new map. There's a brand new map that we need to check out. So right here, we got the Sunset Plain map. I'm super excited to check this out. All right, guys, we are Survivor, and let's go. We got to do this all in one round. You can actually do everything in one round, which is really nice. So let's try to do it. All right, so let's run all the way over here to this king um, place. As you see, there's a little king painting. I wonder what that's about. Uh, so we want to click these different knights, and you have to hear a sound. As you see, it made like a little sound. Um, what do we click? Do we click the middle one? Do we click this one? Do we click this one? And then we click this one. There we go. We did it. Wait, is there a certain order? Is it always this one, this one, middle one, uh, this one, this one? Oh, no. It's this one, then this one, then this one. I wonder if there's a... I think I th it was the same order last round, too. But I'm not a, I'm not completely sure if the order is random or if it's the same. Um, but yeah, try, I guess try to follow along um, and see if it works for you guys and let me know in the comment section below but let's all uh, talk to king bear what does king bear have to say could it be after all this time i'm finally out of painting look the painting is um actually empty well i was not expecting that thank you survivor i don't know how long i was in there all right i wonder how people feel trapped in a painting like like you can't really move or do anything i wonder if you get hungry still but uh let's go all right uh let's continue our way to over here uh, okay let's continue our way over here there we go finally made it um uh, we want to go over here to this library section and what we want to do is go to this door right here i'm gonna we want to continue our way to where the wire puzzle is now there's a sne sneak secret thing over here that you could just walk through or you can use your dragon to actually demolish everything and you want to collect this little spicy spicy hot sauce you can see on the table it's hidden by a block though uh and then you want to take the spicy block over here to the stables now, actually, I'm going to collect a horse for later that we need for another uh, treasure hunt badge. So, I'm going to collect that. And there we go. And let's give this to the, the, the piggy. Poor pig. That's one out of three piggies. Yes, you have to burn piggies. This is a, a weird update. Uh, but, hey, I guess piggy, I guess piggy's got... Some, someone got someone to gotta have the hot sauce. There we go. There's two out of three piggies right there. And then our last piggy is in, um, like, a little wagon. Poor Piggy. He's literally minding his own business. And we're over here. Yep. Being burnt. Uh, there we go. Now you're, you are a uh, good Piggy. Alright. Um, so now that we got everything. Uh, we got two of the treasure hunt badges. So that's the dragon badge and the king badge. 
we want to head over here to the survivor area with our little horse that we collected earlier and you see this golden apple let's select the horse look at this and then over there let's go we got the unicorn horse let's go and this is another treasure hunt badge so that is all three of the treasure hunt badges and let's go all right now let's explore the map a little bit and show you guys what it is uh like like somewhat of the layout over here we got the castle area we got upstairs which you can go over here to this dining hall where the kitchen should be over here yep this is the kitchen area we have like a dungeon area um very interesting uh if we go over here we can drop down over here to the armory area where, where all the knights are the swords you can also enter this armory area by just like entering the castle and going right instantly we have the deluxe pumpkin pies on the thing over here we actually have part of one of the houses um that we can't jump up there but i'm pretty sure like bear can so let's actually try to oh bro we cannot literally cannot go get up there all right let's go on the other side and get into this house um over here in this house we have what else are we supposed to do with him what we have the little mannequins we have a picnic basket with a painting we have this window that you can jump through good layout good layout design and we also have this over here that we can jump through as well uh really interested to, i'm really interested to see how good this map is like in a public server with like like bear actually chasing you uh we have a random huge watermelon almost the size of my entire body oh my goodness that is a huge watermelon we got a llama sleeping hmm it's just sleeping i guess uh, i have no idea why is it sleeping uh well over here there's one of the piggies oh wait wait this was actually can you jump over here oh that would have been at a really cool like like spot dude that would be kind of op for survivor too if you're able to do that but hey you're not able to do it over here we got a big statue with a guy with an axe um yeah p does not look cool we got some crops back there dude that's it's so cool how like there's it's not just an empty spot it, it they just continued the map uh, and it looks cool. Look at that. We have like buildings in the background too. Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool how they pay attention to the background as well. Uh, random axe there that you can pick up. Of course, we saw the stables. We can actually get this little cheese and give it to the cheese altar while we're on the way. Um, the color code actually spawns over here as well. Um, also, I believe a stud spawns here. I don't know if studs spawn in private servers because I haven't seen one yet. But there is a uh, wire puzzle. And then we go over here to the library. Let's actually see if the yeah the color code spawns here. It spawned there for like the last ten rounds, so I wonder if it always spawns there. Uh, we got a uh, red robin just chilling by the meteor. There's a lot of meteors in this map I've noticed. Uh, so um, I don't know if that's like something lore related or something. Uh, okay, we got cages, uh, like these ghostly basses. Um, and let's go or bases. I don't know how you say it. Uh, Gave you the cheese. I gave him the cheese to end the round. And there you go. That is the castle map. Amazing maps. I think it's an amazing map. I think all of the, the maps have been added in the summer update are like really good. And uh, good job to the team, development team, for grinding out these maps. That's actually insane. How many new maps. It was like a, literally a new map every single week except I think last week. Last week didn't have a new map. But yeah, that's really insane how how hard the, they've been working on, the, on, on, this, uh, on these like four updates. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I basically showed you all of the treasure hunt things and how to get them. Also showed you guys the new map and also all the new cosmetics in the shop. Um, but yeah, next week is the final week, which guys, I, bro, I'm so sad about, dude. But yeah, guys, make sure to subscribe, put notifications on, because in six days and 22 hours, I'll be posting another video about, the, about that new update and exploring the final week. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Click this video on the screen. Uh, to see week three's update and how to get all of the treasure hunt badges for that week it's a pretty cool update and it's a pretty cool video as well check it out if you haven't already anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace out